Okay, now we're ready to add the property line. We have the layers. So we're going to start with uh, the creation of our uh, layout for the site plan. So I've renamed this to FP for uh, property uh, floor plan. And I'm going to make a copy of this. So move or copy. I'll right, I right clicked on the layout tab. And then I'm going to create a copy, click OK. And I'm going to name this SP for site plan. Now for the site plan, I do not need this viewport. OK, so I delete that. And then maybe extend this so I know how much space I have for my site plan. So for this one, I need to unlock this first and then pan that away. So I have this space for my site plan. I'm going to maximize this, and then have my ASP P line as the current layer, and then start the line command. Oops, sorry. Before I start the line command, I need to change the units. So make sure the unit is surveyor's unit, because that's those are the data that we have from the surveyor. And the precision is the fourth one down. So we have the seconds option. Okay, so click OK, type line. And then we'll start with the first one at the bottom. So we'll say click and then say at. Then this will be 30398 less than symbol, uh, type N, so north 82 degrees D, 34 minutes and 29 seconds E. Okay, so that's our first line. And then we go up uh, at, uh, so here we say one eight five six seven one eight five six seven, and then less than symbol for the angle, say north five degrees nineteen minutes and thirty nine seconds west. Okay. Enter. And then from there, uh, we're doing an arc. So we'll stop there and start at the other side. So line from this endpoint. And here we have uh, at, okay, and we say one five zero nine seven less than symbol north. 48 degrees D, 50 minutes apostrophe, and nine seconds west. Okay, then from here uh, we go, oops, here we go at 18604. Okay, that's the distance, and then less than symbol north, 5D, 59 minutes, apostrophe, 37 seconds east. Okay, and then next, we do have at, Two nine six eight four six eight four less than symbol south eighty seven degrees fifth uh, forty seven minutes and twenty three 
seconds west. Now notice this one went the other way. Okay, so uh, we'll try uh, moving this. So should have been the reverse, I suppose. But uh, if that happens, you need to tell your supervisor what you did, right? So move so that you know you you don't take the responsibility you just said this is what you did and it looks okay but you need to verify that if you are the supervisor with the surveyor okay so i think that works uh i've tested this already so now we have to place the arc so the arc we know the start of the arc, so A is the shortcut key, A space bar. So it asks us for always communicate with AutoCAD. So arc start point. So AutoCAD draws the arc on a counterclockwise direction. Now it's asking us for the second point. So I do not know any point along the arc. I do know the end point. So I'll click on end and select the end point. And then uh, I do not know the center or the angle or direction. I know the radius. So I'll select radius as an option and type 7909, which is the radius of the arc. Enter. There you go. So that's how we will draw the property line. 